Hi, hi. How are you? Hello, hello. Hello. Hello, good evening. Good evening. How are you today? Nice to see you. Mm. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Nice to see you today. Okay, it's Tuesday, right? Tuesday 20th. How many are here? We're seven. Nice, nice. Let's see, as I call you, tell me present. Abner Adoni. Abner Adoni. Alexa. Alexa. Ana Luisa. Ana Luisa, Andre, Angie, presente, Angie, Arely, Erling, Erling, Irma, Yo, teacher. Irma. Sí, yes. Ok. Darla Milena. Present, teacher. María. María. Marta. Present, teacher. Mauricio. Present teacher. Miguel Ángel. Nancy Katia. I'm here, teacher. Mm -hmm. Oscar. Oscar Humberto, no here. Silvia. Ursula. <coughs> Ursula, William, okay, who didn't say present, I have, okay, Maria, Maria, Hello, teacher. Good evening. I am Hi. Hi, Maria. Anybody connected after I call you? Mm -hmm. Me, teacher, Maria. Yeah, I already put person to you. you. Ursula, too. Bien, a ver. Anybody else connected after I call you? Yo, teacher. Oscar. Sí. Okay. Silvia no here, right? Ursula, yeah. Okay. Now I guess we're complete. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. 
well. Nice to see you. We uh, today we are retaking uh, the vocabulary that we were studying yesterday, right? And also we are going to be working with the structure so and such today. Wow. It's our class number 17. We are almost almost getting to the end, right? 17. After a uh, well, here we have we will have just three more classes, and we finished. We will finish. Okay. So uh, remember, we're talking about financing, vocabulary related to financing, and so on. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the, the the name of the unit here is how to use so and such. And the objective participants will be able to write four sentences using so and such about an article in groups, right? So you're going to be able to write sentences using so and such. Okay. Just remember, we were working with this vocabulary yesterday. So look at the words, match them with the correct definition. Do you remember? Mm -hmm. What's the definition for cash flow, income statements? equity statement and balance sheet. Okay, so let's see. What do you remember here? Uh -huh. Ready? Yes. Okay. Reports on the changes in retain earnings of a company during a stated period. What is it? B. B, an income statement. All of you agree with me? Yes, yes. Uh -huh. Are you sure that's B? Reports on the changes in routine earnings of a company during the stated period. What do you remember? Uh -huh. We did that yesterday. Ah, uh, letter C says Maria. Yes, Maria, that's letter C. That's equity statement, right? 
reports that companies' assets, liabilities, and owners' quality at a given point in time? What is it? Letter E, teacher. Balance. Okay, that's balance sheet, yes. And number three, reports on the company's incoming and outcoming of cash. It's operating, investing, and financing activities. Number A. A. A, that's cash flow. Yeah. And number four, summarizes the company's incomes, expenses, and profits over a period of time. That's letter. The last one, of course, right? That's letter B. Nice. Nice, nice. That's right, just refreshing. Mm -hmm. Yes. Just refreshing, right? While we were studying yesterday. Now, here I have uh, six more words. We have balance, overdrawn, borrow, bank manager, bank services, and that bank statement. So what you're going to do here is match the definitions with these new words, right? <clears throat> <coughs> <laughs> okay, match the words with the definitions. Uh -huh. Teacher, eh, eh, quiero ver. Letter C is to. Letter C, to have used more money than there is in the account so that money is owned to a bank. Overdrawn. Okay. And the letter B is bank manager. Number four. four. Bank manager, what letter? Letter B. The person who is in charge of a branch of the bank. Yes. That's bank manager, very good. Mm -hmm. And um, letter A is balance one. Balance one. Hmm. Balance is number? Is letter A. Balance like this. 
either a paper or electronic summary of the money paid into or out of an account mm, that month. Mm -hmm. of service the amount of money in account bank services mm -hmm. on service the amount of money the amount of money in an account could be positive or negative or negative mm -hmm. Any other idea there? How do you call the account the amount of money in your the account that could be positive or negative? Hmm? Yes. Number three, uh, little a, little a, to get money from a bank. To get money from a bank is borrow, yeah? Yes. Okay. To get money from a bank now that a person does not own, so that to pay, so has to pay back to the bank. To a later time. Mm -hmm. And number six is letter F. A bank statement, the amount of money in an account will be positive or negative. Mm -hmm. Wow. Teacher, in the last uh, number little five, number five is letter D. The product that's a bank officer. Okay. This is, uh -huh. do you want to make a change between balance and bank statement? Mm -hmm. I'm going to read to you the, the definition for the balance. The amount of money you have in a bank account or the amount of something that you have left after you have spent or used up the rest. Mm -hmm. And the other work is bank, bank statement. What's a bank statement? Teacher number one, uh, little f, balance. 
The amount so, of money. A bank statement is an official document that summarizes your account activity over a certain period of time. Uh -huh, so we can make a change there, right? So we have, let me look at the eraser. Mm -hmm. A balance is letter uh, F, right? Yes. And a bank statement is, uh, okay. A mm -hmm. bank statement is a paper. For example, a, every month you can receive a bank statement telling you this, the amount of money that you have been moving, right? Mm -hmm. But the, the money that you have or you don't have is that balance. Okay, that's new vocabulary related to the to the book a uh, to the unit, right? That we are talking about accounts in many concerns. Okay, any questions here? Sure. Yeah. And uh, number six box streaming. Number six. Yeah. Um, the bank statement. Yeah. But I'm going to repeat the it. Uh -huh. the, the definition is a bank mm -hmm. statement is an official document that summarizes your account activity over a certain period of time. <laughs> Typically a month. You'll find records of all the transactions, so the money that you deposit or the money that you withdraw, everything will be there. Thank you. El estado de cuenta, digamos, in Spanish, right? <coughs> That's the bank statement. So you can get it every, every month to see what is the money that you have deposited, what is the money that you have withdrawn. Mm -hmm. But it's a document, a written document that you will see that you can receive in a, in different forms, right? Sometimes you can receive it in electronically, or you can receive it uh, in paper, right? It depends on the situation, on how you ask for it. Any other question there? Mm -hmm. Any other question? No question. No. Okay. We are going to do another activity there in the Now go to your manual. Go to your manual. We're going to do a one, one more activity here, where you're going to check the vocabulary we were using yesterday. Awesome. Remember, yesterday we were mentioning the balance sheet, the equity statement income statements we were talking about the cash flow statement too we have another one that is the annual budget do you know what is a budget mm -hmm. what's a budget mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the budget is uh, the money that you have for uh, Buy something, for example. Exactly. Um, mm, if it is annual, that means that it's the budget that you have for the year, right? Probably as a family, we don't have a budget for the year, an annual budget. We have a month budget. But in a company, you may have an annual budget or in the government, for example. They have an annual budget, right? That's the money that you have uh, to finish 
or to rent all the expenses, right? Um, but it's it's for the year, so you have to see that the amount of money that you have runs enough to cover all the necessities that you will have during the year. Yeah? Okay, now look at the words. You have balance sheet, equity statement, annual budget, income statements, and cash flow statement. What you're going to do is divide them between the ones that are done annually, right? The ones that are uh, presented, we can say, annually, or the ones that are presented monthly. Okay? Go ahead. Balance a sheet, a monthly report. That's report. A monthly report. Okay. Mm -hmm. Why did you put just them here? Okay, balance sheet, that's monthly report. What about the others? Uh, incoming instance is sentiment a monthly report. Mm -hmm. Incoming income statement. Yeah. Okay. What about the others? Equity statement, cash flow. How often do you present? One of Excuse me. Annual budget and uh, once a year. Once a year, yeah. This is once a year. We miss in three and um, four, equity statement and cash flow statement. Remember that, well, it depends on the company, right? That's why it says according to your company. According to your company, where should they go? As monthly report or once a year? Which one? Equity statement? Not two. Number two, income statement. Mm -hmm. And the fourth. So equity statement you're saying can be presented monthly and once a year too? A monthly report, cash flow is, is time to spend. Cash flow statement. Monthly report. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Monthly, it is necessary the movement, right? It is necessary to, to know all the movement that <laughs> mm -hmm. if it works or not. What about the equity and, statement? And once and once a year, equity is uh, equity statement. Okay, equity statement once a year. Okay, so what about number two? Shall we leave it in both? Can that be presented monthly and once a year too? Mm -hmm. Number two and monthly report. Number two and monthly report. So you do it every single month. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Nice, nice. Now, there is one more thing to do. Check. When we are talking about the cash flow, do you remember cash flow? We will mention it yesterday, right? When we mention the, the cash flow, um, 
how do we order that cash? Remember, we were mentioning that yesterday, so we eliminated it from here. Nice. Now see. We have six activities we can say that we follow when in making or ordering or talking about all the process of the cash flow cycle in a company. You have founding your purchases, uh, managing your cash, funding your sales, stock of goods and services, receiving your payments, and also making your payments. What you're going to do here is decide on which is number one, which is number two, and up to you get to number six. What is the order? Yeah. What is the order of the cash flow cycle? What's the order that you follow? Remember, we know what the cash uh, the cash flow cycle is that cycle of the money entering and outcoming in the company, right? So what is the order that you will follow? Mm -hmm. I'm going to give you a couple of minutes for you to think about it. And then we check. Number one, receiving your payments, teacher. Receiving the payment? Yes. Mm -hmm. But teacher, no sería también stock of goods and service. Uh -huh. Ajá. But where... por los ingresos. Uh Ajá. -huh. But where do you get that money from? Where do you receive the money from? Mm -hmm. Okay, watch it carefully, analyze it. Mm -hmm.
Okay. Let's see, which is number one. On the pictures. Yes. First, you get the money from somewhere, right? Can be from the government, from well, from the bank, from somebody who's going to give you the money for you to buy it. the raw material or whatever you're going to, to do, right? Because you're starting the business. Okay, what would be number two? Mm -hmm. What's number two? You have mentioned that before. Teacher, yeah. creo que las primeras son los ingresos de efectivo y los últimos serían las salidas de efectivo. Okay. So what would be number two then? Uh, receiving your payment. But from what? What, what 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 will people pay you? Remember, it's a it's a cycle, right? It's a cycle that you have. So once you fund your purchases, that means you got the money to go shopping. <laughs> what would you buy it? and what would you have later on? The stock of goods and service. Uh -huh, exactly. Now, first you got the money, right? You got the money from somewhere. It's the money to start, right? You go shopping, you buy for the raw material, you make something, and you have the goods now. As you have the goods, you stock them. And then, what do you do after you have the goods and you have the services ready? Mm -hmm. uh, for the you uh -huh, exactly. That means you make the sales of the goods and, and services and you get the effect more more cash, right? Okay, what about number four? Number four. Mm -hmm. Receiving your payments. Yeah, you receive your payments. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the you don't make the cash immediately, right? People pay later, so you have to receive your payments, and then after receiving your payment, man <clears throat> just um, kill your car. Manage your cash. What do you do with your cash? Mm -hmm. You decide, right? What you do with the cash? And the last one. What's the last one? Making your payments. Mm -hmm. Now you have money to go 
and pain, right? Okay? So uh, that's that's the cycle in a company. And then you go again with the same cycle once and once again, okay? Y ahí no es al revés, teacher. ¿En dónde? ¿Cuál? El cinco en vez del seis, o sea, intercambiar. Number five before number number mm -hmm. six. Number five making payments. Hmm. O sea, las cuentas por pagar. Y ya luego administrando lo que queda de efectivo. You can administer eh, also before thinking about what you have to do with the money. Right? After you see, okay, I have, like when you have a budget, right? That you know what you have to do with each quantity of money, you can say, well, this is to pay and this is to, to save. So I imagine that that's why they have put it before. Because when you manage your cash, you can have a decision on what to do with the money. After you have decided on what to do with the money, you make the payments. Mm -hmm. But you could also have the other way around. So you first you pay and then you decide what to do with the rest, right? So that's another another point that, that's, that's acceptable too. One, or to decide on what to do with the money, what to pay, because imagine, Especially in that company, sometimes they probably have to make a decision on uh, what is to pay first and what can wait a little bit to be paid later, right? That, that's why that's why I think that could be before because of decision of the decisions that you have to do with the money that you have. And after you have decided, well, not anymore, okay, we have to pay this, you make the payments. Right, but like the first payment that every company has to do is the payment of the wages, right? You cannot uh, continue working if you're not paying to the employees. So that would be like one of the most important things to do. Or they pay in the bank, and those decisions have to be done here, like a little bit before. Mm -hmm. Okay, any other question? Question, question? You know? Okay. What? Well, we're moving now. We're moving to so and so. Remember yesterday, we were working on these two a list of vocabulary or adjectives. And we said, we said that a um, we cannot mix adjectives that we use to describe people with adjectives that we use to describe things. I cannot describe a thing like, like happy or kind or polite. And I cannot describe a person as good quality or colorful or cheap or durable, right? So there are some adjectives for each of the situation. Now, we have in that list, remember yesterday we said that so and so are basically similar, right? They have uh, the same meaning, but the use is different. Now we're going to add a little bit more things in the cases in which you use so and such. So check. We use we often use so and such. <laughs> well, not in clear here. We both use we often use so and such to mean very or really, right? So you say it is so expensive. It was it is very expensive. Wow, it's really expensive. It is such an expensive thing. So the meaning is the same. The meaning is like very or really. That when we use so. Remember we said yesterday we're giving like more emphasis to the sentence and we're making the sentence stronger, right? And it shows that there is a high level of something. And of course, something else is that 
uh, when we use so, I have to add something else to the sentence. For example, if you say, well, the coffee was so hot that I couldn't drink it. The coffee was very hot. The coffee was really hot, right? But if I say the coffee was so hot, then why didn't you drink it? Because it was so hot that when it was impossible for me to drink it. Hmm? So I'm emphasizing and I'm making my sentence stronger, right? When I use so or when I use such. Remember yesterday we also said that we use so plus the adjective and we use such plus a the adjective and the noun. We will see that in a couple of minutes, right? We use so before an adjective or adverb, but no noun. Remember, no noun. She was so beautiful. That means she was very beautiful. He ran so quickly. He ran very quickly. So if I'm using very, I'm exaggerating a little bit, but mm, my sentence becomes stronger if I use so. Even the pronunciation as in notice makes it more, more emphasis in the sentence, right? When we use so. The food was so delicious. The food was really delicious. That children spoke French so well. The children spoke French very well. So you see, the meaning is the same, but maybe a little bit stronger. Are we okay here? We have any question? Mm -hmm. Any question? No question. Okay. Now, we have so, remember we said we have so plus an adjective or so plus an adverb, right? The adjective describes a noun, while the adverb describes an adjective. So you say she was so happy. She, they were so busy. They cook so well. The adverb describes an adjective, a verb, or another, ad another adverb. In this case, when we say he, they cook so well, that is, um, I'm describing the way the person cooks. No, I'm not describing the person. I'm describing the action of cooking. She sounds so beautifully. What I'm describing here is how she sang, right? That's what I'm describing, how she sang, the way she sang. Any question here? Question, question? No question. We said, so plus an adjective, so plus a verb, right? We use so before much, many, a little, and a few, right? Also. So we say, uh, but remember, when we use so, we do not use a noun. So we can say so much. I ate so much. He has so many. I ate so much cake. He has so many books, right? Because I can use so much or so many. You already know that we use much for no countable and many for countable, right? And then we have a little. She had so little time that she couldn't make it to finish the whole work. Mm -hmm. She has so little time. Why did you eat so little? 
so almost nothing. He has so few friends that he was very lonely. Much and many, well, much and little, are for uncountable. And many and, and few are for countable. So that's why when we use so much, we use it with things that I cannot count. And when we use so little, the same with things we cannot count. But when we use so many or so few, we use it with countable things, right? With words in plural, things that we can count. Any question here so far? No question? No? Mm -hmm. I assume no, right? Again, remember we say we use so before an adjective or an adverb, but we use such before a noun or an adjective plus a noun. Then you have, if there is a one, it goes after such. But remember, we use a and an before singular. If we're talking about plural, we do not use a or an, right? If you say they were such wonderful people, in that case, of course, it won't take an, it won't take a, because people is plural. Right? They were such beautiful girls. Girls, plural, so no one, no one. Now, she was such a beautiful woman. She was a very beautiful woman. Remember, we're saying that so and such have the meaning of very or really. You cannot say she was a so beautiful woman. That's not possible. Right? But she was such a beautiful woman. You cannot say a uh, such beautiful. You cannot use a before. A uh, has to be. Here, right? He got such a good time in the race. He got such a good time. He got a very good time in the race. It was such delicious food. Food is not countable. So if I'm using countable, I'm not going to use a one either. It was such delicious food. It was very delicious food. It was really delicious food. The children spoke such good English. The children spoke really good English or French. <laughs> the children spoke very good French. Right? Because so and such have the same meaning as very in way. No questions here? Mm -hmm. No question. No? Remember, we also said that we can use so or such. Well, we can use such before a noun, right? Such before a noun. So you say she was such a girl. Pequenina, right? With that context. So we said she was such a girl. That means she was a very terrible girl. Or such plus adjective plus noun. She was such an intelligent girl. They are such terrible boys, right? That is, they were very terrible boys. Now, this, uh, we already said, we have so before much, before many, before little, and before few. Okay. We can also use such before a lot. Again, such becomes before a, right? We can say a little and then a noun. But in that case, a little is an adjective, not a word like the ones we use in right now, right? 
he was such he has such a lot of books i mean he has a lot but really really a lot of books i ate such a lot of cake so i eat an enormous quantity of cake any questions here so far no no questions no questions no teacher okay now i'm going to share a couple of sentences that i want you to do right Okay. Uh, complete the sentences. Remember to use so and such, right? So and such. My friend lives in. You decide if you need such or if you need such. I'm going to send it to the groups. I need that you discuss a little bit and then you let me know. Okay, join. I'm going to send the sentences in the chat. Okay, try to join. Erling, Arely, Oscar, Marta, Carla, try to join. Angie. My Carla, sending you to number three. Uh, my friend lives in, live in, in such a big city. De acuerdo o no de acuerdo, Mauricio. <ríe> eh, tiene, si le, le queda lo, lo igual así como con duda. <ríe> sí, to, sosh. Ajá. Semejante. Ajá, pero lo íbamos, a utilizar, lo íbamos a utilizar antes de a o de and. Y el so lo vamos a utilizar antes del adverbio. Mm, en este okay. caso, ah. lo, que sigue, lo que sigue es una a. Por so, lo tanto, so. utilizamos el so. Uh -huh. okay. Va diferente en el, en el número dos. My mom is, yeah. lo que sigue es, so, el, es el adverbio, ¿verdad? Yeah, beautiful. Awesome. Entonces sería, my mom is so beautiful. Oh, yeah. Sí. Okay. But, ¿cómo, sería la, ¿Cómo sería la tres? ¿Cuál usaría, Mauricio? Is... Hola. So. 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 My television is so intelligent. Intelligent. Uh -huh. Acordémonos okay. que si de, que si no vemos que va la, la letra A o un an, entonces vamos a utilizar el so. Unless the word is uncountable or plural. Okay, thank you. 
Sería my son is so angry. Uh -huh. My son is um, such an angry boy. Sí. Okay. Yes, yes. Okay, mm -hmm. number, number five, Mark. Hello. Hello. Hi, did you finish? Teacher, solo con una consulta. Dígame. Cuando dijo que era plural, si va a ocupar siempre el soch, ¿verdad? Sí, ahí Aunque depende no esté... del caso. Lo que, lo que ah. ustedes tienen que ver es si hay después del adjetivo un noun o no. No. ¿Verdad? Por ejemplo, si hay, la... si hay un noun después del adjetivo, entonces va a ser soch. Pero si no hay un noun, ¿no? que solo hay un adjetivo, entonces va a ser. Ah, ok. Okay, Ajá, porque en el caso de que ocupen people, por ejemplo, no va a llevar a, ¿verdad? Porque no voy a decir such a wonderful people. No lleva a, porque es plural. Pero este sí si lleva people, entonces es, es, es such. Okay. Ah, ok, dicho. The first one is my friend who lives in so a big city. Mm, are you sure? Lo que les estaba diciendo, Angie. Creo que, ajá, lo entendí al revés. Ajá. Sería, uh, my friend lives in, lives. So, uh, uh, in such a big city. Exacto, exacto. In the second one, my mom is so beautiful. Mm -hmm. My television is so intelligent. Is so in the okay. Again, mas. See number four. My song is so angry. My song is so. Church, uh, angry boys. Mm -hmm. Marta cooks uh, such a good a spaghetti. My friend was. So, so happy. happy. So happy. Mm. 
So happy. En la en la seis so. My friend so happy. So, uh -huh. ajá, la seis so. Sí. Lo escribieron o lo escribieron. Ahí está, ah, sí. Me he fijado. Sí, sí, lo siento. El pues, so. uh, The balance is so. Sería. So. 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 Uh -huh. So. 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 Sí. La 8, así me permite reportar. Yo creo ay, que es. Ahí se me fue una 8. Se me fue una 8. La 8. La 8. En fin, no se va a reportar. La 8 sería eso. Sí. Y allí con todo el grupo como él está aquí. The manager for what some plays. Touch but we. Ah, la la 9. Julio juega. La nueve sería Soch. Soch. O Soch. Espera, ahora tengo dudas. Ajá. Soch. Tengo dudas en eso. Pero... Which one? Julio juega gravemente. Mm -hmm. Badly. 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 Malamente. 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 Ajá. Malamente. Aquí es muy malo el pobre Julio. <risa> Apenas le pega la pelota. <risa> Sería Sosh, teacher. Sosh. 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 <risa> el beneficio es la 10 sería Sosh, ¿verdad? Sosh. The building is so high. The building is The building 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 Tres, tres de cada uno. Y es. Y es. Ahí sería. Sosh. 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 Teacher, ¿verdad que el sush es como realmente, lo usamos como realmente o algo bien importante? Sí, muy, muy. Y el, ajá, o, ¿Los dos? ¿Y el so? Los dos, los dos. Los dos son para el... Sí. Las dos son, lo, son igual. Significa lo mismo, lo único que cambia es la estructura, ¿verdad? Y en ese caso, uh -huh. 
tell me. Also, go, teacher. En esa parte me entra dudas a mí. ¿En cuál? Yo digo que ya. De so, en el, porque es lo mismo como dice allí que el edificio es tan alto. Ajá. Ajá, y, lo, y los dos se, se escuchan iguales en esa parte y te, me entra en duda. No sé cuál sería. Vaya, acuérdese que el soch lleva adjetivo noun y el, y el so solo lleva adjetivo. Adjetivo y noun. Y noun. Ajá, el soch Adjetivo y noun. Si es singular, va a llevar such, va después el adjetivo, después un noun. Pero si estamos hablando de plural o no countable, no va a llevar el a, pero sí va a llevar un noun después del adjetivo. Si ve que lleva un noun después del adjetivo, eso significa que no va a usar so, sino que so. Uh, entonces sería so. Hola. Uh -huh. So badly, ¿verdad? So high. So high sería. So high, sí. So high. Vaya, por okay. ejemplo, la uno, si usted se fija, dice, my friend lives in such a big city. Usted tiene el adjective, pero también tiene un noun, city. Ajá. Okay, eso es lo que le va a llamar la atención ahí. Y a such por el a. A big city. Y porque lleva un noun después del adjetivo. So, plus an adjective, pero such plus an adjective, noun. Gracias. Uh -huh. Hola. Disculpa, es que se me va mucho la señal, no le logro entrecortar, no logro escuchar. Vámonos. No sé si me escucha. A ver, everybody back. Yeah. Okay. Any questions? Any questions? No question, teacher. Okay. How you have it? Let's see. Number one, my friend lives in shoes. Search. Such. Such. Uh -huh. 
My mom is so so beautiful. My mom is so beautiful. My mom is so beautiful. My television is so, so intelligent. Intelligent. So intelligent. My song is such so. Such my song is so angry. My song is such angry. So. Martha Cook. Such. My friend was so, so, so happy. Uh -huh. The balance is so important. So important. The financial report was so easy to understand. Mm -hmm. So easy to understand. Julio plays so, so badly. So bad. And the building is so high. So, so high. high. Yeah, very good. Any question there? Mm. No question. No question. Okay. Now, just refreshing. So, and such, right? So necessary. So important. So well. So imaginative. But such a creative program. Such a significant investment. Such a beautiful tool. Such a big success. Remember, such lleva adjective in noun. El so solamente lleva adjective. Okay. Oh, mm -hmm. That would be a big, big difference that you can find. Remember, the, the meaning is the same, right? Both are with the meaning very or really, but the structure is different. Now, Let's complete these sentences. They were mm -hmm. so happy. They were so happy. He speaks Chinese so, so, so well. Ajá, yo, bueno, que yo me mandaron arroz y me dieron este frijoles, dos libras. Julie is such, such, a, good such a good writer. No, such. Mira, Erika, aquí sale de chiquilla. She swims. So queen. So queen. So, so late. So late. So late. We miss the last train. They have had such such a big house. Lost. lost. Such a big house. <laughs> okay, she has. She has short, such a uh, swing. Such a sweet puppy. Okay. That was such, such. such an interesting book. The weather was so, so hot. Mm -hmm. He's such. Such. He's such a teenager. He's just a teenager. Uh -huh. He's such a teenager. 
Any question here, chicos? No question? No, teacher. Okay. Go to your manual. Let me tell you the page. Um, page 40. Page 40, activity five. Yes, let's complete the sentence. Do so such. Sosh. 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 The cash flow, the are so important. So important. Mm -hmm. It is good to know the cash flow, they are so important. I'm a little bit It is so important. Okay, number two. The architect is such, such a creative woman. Such a creative woman. Mm -hmm. Number three. So, so. so. So convenient. Wireless internet access is so convenient. So, all the inventions we created are, are so, so popular. So popular. So popular. <laughs> so so computer such was a such significant. A such a significant invention. Okay. And the last one, checking your financial statement was so difficult. So, oh. Was so difficult before. Mm -hmm. Was so difficult before. Okay. Any questions? No question. Easy. Easy, easy. Mm -hmm. No questions? No, teacher. No, teacher. Okay. Not fast, but no. Facilito. Oh, no. Hmm? Yes. Very, very. Okay. La estructura de mañana es un poquito más complicada. La de ahora es más, más fácil. Bye. Let's move here. Okay, just analyze each of the sentences and decide which is the best word for you to use. Okay, vamos a ver, I'm going to share this here and I'm going to send you to, okay, that's it, right? I'm going to share the picture in the chat for you to work.
I'm going to send you to different group. Let's recreate the group. Join. I already pasted the picture. Try to join. Yes, Oscar, Osuma, Marta, Maria, Sidi. ¿Lo que vamos a hacer? Mira, con la palabra sos o sos. Eh, que explique en, en las oraciones que nos mostró y que nos mandó la teacher al WhatsApp. Ajá. Solo hay que poner el SOT y el SOCH, nada más. Sí, solamente. Ajá. Ya tiene algunas. Hola. Ya tiene algo. Es que lo estoy buscando, lo estoy buscando. Que los perdí ah, las oraciones. No. Ajá. Ajá. Espera. Los tienes tú. Que me tengo muy lento el inter. No, que okay. lo voy a poner en el, en el, en el chat de aquí de la, de la llamada. Ajá. Uh -huh. Está bien. Ah, ahí te vale. Vaya, está ahí en el chat. Ahorita. Ah, no me parece. Sí, pero no, sí, ya, ya la mandé. No, no, no me aparece. Dale, donde dice mensaje. Ahí están las opciones, si es para todos. Sí, cabal, ahí. Ahí está, ahí lo mandé. Ah, pues no. Dice que no se puede enviar, tiene razón. Ajá, es por eso que. Uh -huh. Uh -huh, pero no, no lo miraba. Ajá, sí, sí, apareció ahí. No, no lo puedo mandar. No, ah. donde dice chatear, donde dice enviar a todos, selección. Presionale y ahí te, aparece, ahí te van a aparecer los nombres. Ya estuvo en teoría, creo que sí, ya se mandó. Hoy sí. Ah, Ajá, hoy sí. Entonces, uh -huh. la vale, primera la sería. Ajá, la primera oh. sería so. Uh -huh, la segunda, so. También, la tercera es. So. Such. Such. Uh -huh. ah, la cuatro sería so. Sí. Número cinco sería so. Uh -huh. ah, igualmente el número seis. Sí. Siete. También. La ocho sería so. Sí. La nueve sería so. Uh -huh. 
Ajá. Las 10 sería so también. Sí. Uh, la 11 sí. también sería so. Uh -huh. Igualmente la... 12, la 12. 13. La 13. 14. 14 15. 15. 15. No, casi todos son so. <risa> sí, que es cierto. Uh -huh. Solo la 3. Solo la 3 y la... Ah, la 8 también, la 3 y la 8. La tres y la ocho nada más son ocho. Ajá. Oh, bueno, ya terminamos. Ajá. So... Sería así. Que a ver. Literalizo. Para house. Hay que ir a so by the cool me 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 he thought about my the arrangements as secretary doctor Dami how so much work to the day he can come Tony, Doctor David Hall, so many parents stay our place. We say our house. Ten. Ten. That what's, uh -huh. that what's that what's so strong. So strong coffee. Okay. Strong coffee. Okay. Mm. Ten. Il Eleven. Sería the coffee was too strong for me. Such. Sería such. Yeah. Such. Eleven. Mm -hmm. Number 12 Sería so So hard yeah. The lesson was so hard So, yeah Teacher, ¿qué es hard, hard that? Ya yeah, salió quizá Hard Sorry. that <laughs> Sorry, I was muted Okay it was so hard. The lesson so was hard. so hard that I, that I asked Charles for someone for sure. It's that was tan difficult. Ah, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So hard. So hard. Yeah. So hard. Home, homework that I always need you help. I did on the service planes. Search. I have. To ask for help. 
La 15. It was too much food. Too much food. Such. Such. Uh -huh. Such a Such cold a note. Good. Cold note. No. Could no. ¿Cómo sería aquí, teacher? I could. Couldn't. I could. I couldn't. 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 Sí. I couldn't. I couldn't finish. I couldn't finish. It. Mm -hmm. I couldn't finish. I couldn't finish. Sería, there were so much. Sixteen. There were so much food. Go ahead. Lo que es la, también la número cuatro y cinco, que son casi igual, pero solo cambian el much y en el money, ¿verdad? Que en el money sería such. Uh -huh. Y en el mood sería sober. No necesariamente. Porque ahí dice patience. Todavía sigue más popular, ¿verdad? La en, en la number five. Doctor David has so many patients. So many patients. Demasiados pacientes. Ah, okay. uh -huh. So much work. Ah, entonces so siempre much. sería todo, so, ¿verdad? Porque uh -huh. tampoco no lleva el, el, so much el lado, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Es que sí tenía un poquito usted, de dudas. El que ocupamos con much y con many es el so, no el such. Sí, ah, ok. Entonces siempre que vaya many o much va a ser so. Ok. Number four, number five, so. Sí, so. Ok, en 16. So, where, so. There were so much. There were so much food that. that. Too much. Okay. Si gusta podemos empezar a leer desde la primera ya los adverbios. Okay. Okay. Bueno. Empiezo. Mr. Ardenson was not at home. Such a calling thing as his office. Good. Number two, Mr. Arders was so busy that the call commitment. Commitment? Commitment. Commitment. Number three, yeah. couldn't is so. I says couldn't. Couldn't. Couldn't, couldn't, couldn't meet, me. Couldn't meet me. Couldn't meet me. Couldn't meet me. Number three. Number three. He saw a busy man that they really knew a secretary. Such a busy man. So chavisima. Man. So chavisima. Man. Okay. Mm -hmm. well, so He is a so busy man that they really need a secretary. Mm -hmm. Number four, Dr. Davis has so much work to do that he can come. Commit tonight. Yeah. Number five. Doctor Davis has so many planes that he's always bush. Bushy.
Number six. Six. We said a nice, a nice house uh, for sale. So we stop to look at it. Julian, last one. Seven. Seven. The house was so beautiful that I took, took a picture of it. Number eight. It was choose a beautiful house that we David to go in. Okay. The last one. Uh, this this coffee is so strong that I really can't drink it. Number ten. That was so strong coffee that I really didn't carry it. Five seconds. Okay. Now, let's check your answers. Number one, Mr. Anderson wasn't at home. Search a calling. En este caso, solo está siendo usado en un contexto diferente como result. Mr. Anderson was. So busy. So busy that he couldn't meet me. He he is such a busy man. Ah, uh -huh. he's such a busy man that he really needs a secretary. What about number four? Uh, so so much. Much, much work. We mm -hmm. have so much work. Uh -huh. Dr. David has so, so many. So many patients. So I'm impatient. Oh. Okay. What about the number So, mm -hmm. Such. 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 We saw a nice house for sale. So, again, result, Belda. We saw a nice house for sale. So, we stop to look at it. Another. The house was so beautiful. 
the house was so full that I took a picture of it. Number eight. Touch. It was such a beautiful house. Number nine. This coffee no. is so strong. Coffee is so strong. Coffee is so strong really that I really can't really drink it. Okay. That was so strong. So that was so strong coffee. Watch strong coffee. That was such a strong coffee that I really didn't care about it. And number 11. The coffee so was, it was too strong for me. Such I can drink it. Is this result? Aquí el so está siendo usado como result. Usamos so. The lesson was so 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 hard that I asked Charles for some help. Mm -hmm. Teacher, I have a question. Tell me. In number 10, what why it is the such you have remember that you use such cuando estamos después tenemos un noun adjective noun y aquí tenemos el noun que es coffee <laughs> ¿verdad? Por, porque coffee is eh, uncountable no tiene a Si coffee no fuera uncountable, dijera such strong coffee. Such a strong, ¿verdad? Such a strong coffee, pero no, pero coffee es no contable, por eso no le ponemos a. Mm, okay. ¿No? Entonces es como otra regla, aparte de la que habíamos visto del I el and para such. Acuérdense, acuérdense la estructura que es such plus adjective plus noun. Entonces, cuando yo tengo eh, adjective noun, ocupo such. Si solo tengo adjective, ocupo so. Okay. Thank you. Pero aquí tenemos adjective noun. Entonces, por eso es que ocupamos such. Thank you. Uh -huh. What about number 13? So. so, so, we have such, we have so. ah, such, tenemos un noun allí, homework, ¿verdad? We have such hard homework, we have such hard homework that I always need help. Fourteen. Yeah, so. Number 14. Such. I didn't understand the explanation. So, result. Acuérdense que el so también se ocupa para result. Y en este caso es result. ¿Verdad? Entonces ocupamos so. Eh, I didn't understand the explanation. So, I asked to help. I asked for help. You think it was too much food. So and result exactly. So I couldn't finish. Mm -hmm. The last one. Seria there was such. There was so much. Con el much acuerdo so que usamos so. So much, so, so many. Much ¿Sí? So much, so many. No puedo decir such much, ¿verdad? Sino que so much. I, I use so much, so many, so little, so lot. Right? So much. 
so much homework, so many books. He has so many books that he doesn't have a space to put them. Yeah, he has so many. So much, pero so many. So much, so many, so little, right? So few, recuerden. Eh, decíamos que para contable usamos so many y so few, pero para uncountable usamos so little and so many, right? So little and so many. Any questions here? No question. No question. Mm -hmm. No. Bueno, sumo que no. Bye. Okay, this is the last thing we would do. Here we have a purchase order. What you're going to do here is pay attention to all the information in the purchase order and then answer these two questions. Okay? Mm -hmm. We mm -hmm. have, um, yeah, that's enough time. We have eight minutes to, to read all the purchase order and then answer the questions. Any question? Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Ready, ready? Um. Okay, now tell me how many items are they buying? How many items? Mm -hmm. How many items are they buying? According to this. There are two items. Hmm? How many? Two items. Two items only, right? One frame material for first floor, a frame material first floor. So we have one, Mars. one and one. Okay, so we have how many items? Two items. How much is the total? How much is the total order? Six thousand. Six thousand? Four hundred, four hundred fifteen. Oh. 
¿Cómo se dice 20 centavos, Ticho? 20 cents. 20 cents. 20 cents. 20 cents. No, just 20 cents. Ok. Como ya sabemos que la, la, la the currency that is being used is dollars, it's not necessary to say 20 cents. Okay, what type of cents, right? Mm -hmm. So okay. that's... I have a question. Tell me. And 20 cents for... Um, 50 cents. 50 cents. Se puede decir también. Yeah, you can say 50 cents, 15 cents, 10 cents, 5 cents. Uh -huh. It depends. Here we have 20, right? 6,415 dollars with 20 cents. Okay, lo que hacemos es decir los dólares antes, ¿verdad? So you have 6,415 dollars and 20 cents. Mm -hmm. Any other question? No question? No question? No, teacher. Okay. Nice, nice. Bye. That's it, right? That's it for today. So we have 6,415 and 26. Okay. Nice, nice. Tomorrow we're going to be talking about gerunds. Gerunds and infinitives. The next day, we will be talking about a conditionals, okay? So those are like the, the grammar points that we have for the following days. Well, tell me present as I call you. Let's see. Um, Abner Adoni. No here. Alexa. Alexa. Alexa, hello. No estuvo Alexa. Sí, está. Allí está, pero no contesta. Alexa, hello. Hi, hi. Se nos durmió Alexa. Eh, Ana Luisa. Presentation. Andrei. Andre, no está Andre, ¿verdad? Eh, Angie, Angie, presente, Arely. Arelia Presente. Erling. Presente. Erling, lo oigo bien lejos. Oh, ok. Presente, teacher. Irma, muy bien. Yes. Carla Milena. Presente, teacher. María. Presente, teacher. Marta. Present teacher. Mauricio. Present teacher. Miguel Angel, no here, Nancy. Present. Oscar. Present teacher. Silvia Bye. Evelyn. Silvia Evelyn. Present teacher. Okay. Ursula. Ursula, ya se fue Ursula. 
present. Ahí está. Úrsula, me durmió también, igual que Alexis. Qué barbaridad. No me duerman, díganme present antes de irme a dormir. William. Present. Good night. Ok, bye. Hoy le, ay, William, ¿qué número es hoy? Vamos a ver, 17. Úrsula se queda conmigo. Mañana, William. Ok. Ok, teacher. Bye bye. Take care. Bye bye. Don't forget. Don't forget. Good night. Good night, teacher. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Bye. Good night. Tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Mm -hmm. I'm here, teacher. Hi. How are you? Mm -hmm. Are you okay? Uh, I'm a little sick. Oh, what's happening? Yeah, I have a, I have a backache. Oh, a backache. Mm -hmm. And I was um, um, in the past, you have you got a sick leave. Uh -huh. How okay. many days? Three days. Three days. Wow. Three days, the second day. Oh my God. So you're like that since yesterday. Yes. And I can. And, and I can stay many, much time sitting stand up for uh, many, many, many times sitting or many times uh, walk. <laughs> Ouch. That's really bad. Yes. Is that like a lumbago or what happened? Yes. Yes. Lumbago. Lumbago. But that mm -hmm. is something that uh, once you get it, it's frequent, right? Yes, frequent. It gets a repetition every time you get a stress. Yes. Is correct? Yes, correct. Ouch. <laughs> I have never gotten yeah. lumbago, but uh -huh. I have a friend that gets a... Uh, but very often, and, and when I see that's very sad, it's very painful. It's very, very painful. The other, the, the other um, problem I had is a headache. Head. Uh -huh, but it's because of the pain. Yeah. If, if you have problems with the back, with if your neck hurts, if your neck hurts, your, your head too. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. So that's everything is connected. Are you taking any pills for that or injections? Mm, yeah, injections. Diclofen. One, uh, yeah, diclofenac. Fenadrina or uh -huh. no, metocarbamol. No. Okay, but that makes you sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see the positive way. Right, that you can yes. sleep well because yes. with the pain, it's very difficult to sleep. I know, yes. but at least with the injections, you can sleep a little bit. Yes, well, sure. but I'm here, teacher. I'm, yeah, I'm happy to be here. Yeah, no, I was surprised that, that I didn't uh, see you, right? And I didn't hear you like. You know that you are always very active. Yes, yes. Ouch, but that's very painful. I know. I know it's sad because it's very, very painful. Very painful. But what will happen if you get to the day you have to work on Thursday and you still feel pain? You will have to go to the doctor again? Yes, the doctor told me if my 
hey is um, the same. Mm -hmm. hey, I have to go to the doctor again. But I think uh, I I feel better. Mm -hmm. I think tomorrow is the last injection, mm -hmm. and I I hope I feel better tomorrow. Yeah, but definitely you have to rest a lot. Yes, the, the, that, that told me the doctor I have to rest very much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You have to rest and try to relax a little bit. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. at the end of the day, tomorrow you feel much better. Yes, if, I, if I hope you, so. Mm -hmm. If no, you will have to go again and try to yes. rest a little bit yes. more mm -hmm. to finish the week. <laughs> no, let's let's hope that that you will be better. Are you yes. so nice? Yes. So you cannot put anything else. Just the yes. feels. Um, no, no, I put the uh, uh, ice. Oi, oi, oi. Uh, you say ointment. Uh, ointment. Ointment. Yeah. In my back. Okay. My daughter put me the ointment in my back. Mm -hmm. She's my nurse. She's your nurse. Yeah, she has to take care of you. <laughs> yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. It's it's very difficult, but hopefully you will be better by tomorrow. You will be. Better. <laughs> moving, moving a little yeah. bit more, yeah. Okay. Let's see. Try to get some tea also that will help you sleep better and relax a little bit. Yeah. Because part of that is the stress, right? The stress that you're getting is that that can make you feel like that too. Yeah. I I thinking about my job because they, I have a, a lot of things to do. Yeah. But I try but but I try to relax in my yeah. try to Yeah, to, because if you're worrying it is another worrying. thing. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> the, the the thing is that there is no way. No way. There is a moment when the body says, mm -mm, no. Mm -hmm. oh, relax. <laughs> Right, and there is like, nothing else to do. Mm -hmm. but, mm, wow. So I definitely hope you feel better tomorrow. Yes. And you feel like me after the rest. <laughs> <laughs> after the rest, yes. and you feel new, new, new. Right. And try to relax as much as you can, definitely. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, Ursula, la vamos a dejar que vaya a descansar. And see you tomorrow. Okay. Una Get pregunta. Que... Tell me. Este, mire, eh, eh, el siguiente módulo que sigue es el módulo 5. Sí. Este, eh, eh, a veces yo, yo me pregunto si... si, si, si ¿Estoy en el módulo correcto o necesito hacer un cambio? Ok, porque siente muy difícil. Mm, no, porque hay cosas que siento de que eh, son cosas como más muy fáciles. Uh -huh. Entonces sí. las entiendo bien rápido o hay cosas que ya las sé. Por ejemplo. Entonces, eh, yo, yo sé que hay compañeros que les Sí, sí. un poco más de la pronunciación sí. entender un poco más eh, la, la estructura de las oraciones y todo eso uh -huh. sí, sí, sí. Eh, no sé usted si, empezó no sé. desde el 1 Ursula o hizo algún tipo de examen para empezar sí, hice examen hice uh -huh. examen pero como siempre me pasa lo hice así como rápido este, me tenían que escribir y entonces me dijeron que tenía que hacer el examen para que no empezara del nivel 1. Pues sí, pues yo sí. sí sabía que del nivel 1 
todo, ¿verdad? Porque ya... Ajá, muy fácil. Imagínense, siente fácil sí. el 4 y imagínense el 1. Uh -huh. Entonces, sí. no sé si... O sea, yo por mí sigo en el, en el 5, ¿verdad? No habría problema, pero, pero quería preguntarle a usted si cómo, cómo me ve a mí si necesito ir a otro Dice nivel. que yo la veo bien. En uh -huh. Yo la veo bien. Todos deberían de estar así. Uh -huh. ¿Verdad? Todos deberían de estar así. Uh -huh. Pero eh, sí, a, a, a algunos se les cuesta un poquito más, les dificulta un poquito más. O se da la situación de que se les acaban de decir las cosas y ya al ratito ya no se acuerdan. No se acuerdan. Uh -huh. O combinan o mezclan las cosas, pero es ya cuestión de aptitud de cada quien, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. el uh -huh. del Entonces, no, yo, yo, fíjese que yo realmente la animaría a seguir aquí adelante por el hecho de que hay siempre hay alguna cosita que de repente se puede pasar. ¿Verdad? Sí. Entonces es puede ir bien. reforzando. Uh -huh. ¿Verdad? Puede ir reforzando algunas cosas que se le va a hacer más, más fácil. Y sí, aparte... De hecho hay cosas que, que sí me han servido para reforzar. Uh -huh. sí. Y aparte la puede tomar la, la ventaja de, eh, de hacer los, los videos o los links de la, del libro, ¿verdad? Del manual. Uh -huh. Que... Uh -huh que le pueden ayudar a, a uno a reforzar los temas. Okay. Perfecto. Y lo otro es que mmm, lo que estamos viendo ahorita, por ejemplo, lleva una secuencia. Eh, tal vez no los puntos gramaticales, pero sí lo, las cuestiones de los temas. ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. Los temas en sí, como inglés para el trabajo, hay temas que... Bueno, por ejemplo, si usted llega al sexto, ya se asume que ciertas cosas que ya no sabe, como, como, como vocabulario o cuestiones así, uh -huh. porque uh -huh. se vieron en cuestiones anteriores. Uh -huh. Ajá. La animaría que sí. Pues sí. Está bien, eso le quería preguntar yo. <ríe> sí. Porque sí, ya, ya, yo estoy con la, eh, ver la, la disposición de seguir porque... Esa es una de las cosas que, sí. que me he propuesto de meta, ¿verdad? Terminar. Primero Dios lo voy a lograr, entonces. Sí. Sí, ah, pues sí, voy a continuar entonces con el siguiente. Es eh, bien importante darle seguimiento. Y, y mire, si ahorita no le cuesta una ventaja, vea, ¿ves? Y aproveche para ir reforzando otras cositas. Por ejemplo, a veces los links que yo les comparto a ustedes son links que llevan así como abierto para, para otras cosas. Entonces, sí. meter a explorar otras cosas más, ¿verdad? Sí. Y poner en práctica otras uh -huh. cosas. Sí. Está bien. Muchas gracias, Javier. Ok, claro que sí, ya sabe. Que siga mejor citas y que descanse. Bueno, gracias, buenas noches. Ok, buenas noches. Take care.